Hello Girl Scouts of Greater South Texas. Are you ready for some more virtual fun? Let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. You're going to raise your right hand, pinky goes down, thumb goes over your pinky, and we'll do the Girl Scout Promise first. If you don't know the promise, you can repeat after me, but if you do know it, definitely say it with me. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Law. Now we're going to say the Girl Scout Law. And again, if you don't know it, repeat after me. But if you do know it, definitely say it with me. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do. And to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Now let's get started. Vitamins and minerals are essential substances that the body needs to function normally. And how do we get these vitamins and minerals? Well, some of them we can make in our body, but we just can't make enough. So we've got to get it from our diet. And that's why I encourage a variety of foods in the diet to ensure that you get enough vitamins and minerals so that the body can function at its best. There are many vitamins and minerals, and we don't have time to get through them all, but I just want to talk about a few of them. One of them that I think is pretty cool is vitamin D. Vitamin D is sometimes called the sunshine vitamin because we can make vitamin D when we're exposed to the sun. Yeah, that's pretty cool that there's a compound in our skin that when exposed to the UV from sunlight, our bodies can synthesize something that can become vitamin D. So we can make vitamin D. But we don't wanna just be standing out there baking in the sun. Remember, you gotta put on sunscreen. So a really a better source of vitamin D would be from our diet. Good sources of vitamin D include dairy products. So milk, cheese, yogurt, cottage cheese, and why is vitamin D important? Well, vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium. Now, calcium is essential for our bones. It makes up all of the bones and teeth in our body. And to help us absorb that calcium when we eat it and then get that calcium into the bone, we need enough vitamin D. So vitamin D is not in the bones, but it is important for bone health because it helps get calcium into the bones. Vitamin D also has a role in our immune function, so our ability to fight infections, um, as well as the strength in our muscles. And we're learning a lot more about vitamin D and its functions beyond just bone health. And when we're on the topic of bone health, calcium is another important mineral in the diet. Calcium, as I mentioned before, it makes up all of our bones and our teeth. Now, if we don't get enough calcium from our diet, that calcium can come out of the bone and make our bones weaker. Now, why isn't the calcium staying in the bone? Well, calcium has more functions other than just our bones and our teeth. Calcium is involved in muscle contractions, such as the muscle contractions in your heart as well as other signaling that's happening in the body. So we need to get enough calcium from our diet, and if we don't, the body steals it from the bones, and that can, again, result in some weaker bones. So for strong bones, it's important to have enough calcium and vitamin D in the diet. Another antioxidant is vitamin C. Most people think that orange juice is a good source of vitamin C, and it is, but so are oranges, and so is grapefruit, and so are bananas, and all fruit, all fruit are great sources of vitamin C. And in fact, you can find vitamin C in some vegetables like red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers are a good source of vitamin C. So think beyond orange juice that you can get this great antioxidant, which is important for our defense systems, as well as for our immune function from fruits and vegetables. What is an antioxidant? If we break apart the word, anti would mean against, and oxidant meaning an oxidizing agent. 
there's a little bit of science in this and that our body is exposed to many things from the environment as well as compounds that we produce that can damage our cells. That's not a good thing. We have many cells in our body that have very important functions. So in order to protect those cells from oxidizing agents that are either naturally produced by our body from normal processes, as well as oxidizing agents from our environment, we need to have a defense mechanism. And antioxidants are one of the many defense systems the body has against cell damage. What antioxidants do is they help quench these oxidizing agents. They're called free radicals. Yeah, that name means they are, they are looking for something to take a molecule from and damage it. What's cool about antioxidants is that they say, here, take this, leave the cell alone. And there are antioxidants that our body produces. We have natural antioxidant defense systems, but we can also get antioxidants from our diet. There are many vitamins and minerals that serve antioxidant functions. For example, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, as well as other nutrients, other compounds that are in foods that um, we don't necessarily have a requirement for to consume, but we know that when we eat them, we are increasing the amount of antioxidants in the body. So it's pretty cool that what we can eat can protect our cells in the body. So not only are our cells made up of the nutrients that we eat, we have compounds from our diet that can protect the cells in our body. So good sources of antioxidants are a lot of plant products. Think of lots of fruits and vegetables, um, nuts. Those have really good sources of antioxidants. And so having more plant sources in your diet can help build up your defense system to protect your cells so that you can have a healthy body. Now that you learned about antioxidants, I challenge you to list what you think are good sources of antioxidants in the diet. So list at least three antioxidant rich foods. So what made it on your list? If you listed any fruit or vegetable, nut, seeds, you are on the right track. All of our plant sources are going to be really good sources of antioxidants. And these are things that protect our cells from damage so that our cells stay healthy and strong and help our body function at its best.